Hey everyone, this is Bhargav Sudhar and today we will uh, learn very important algorithm. So that is Prim's algorithm. So uh, in this session, we will discuss how to find a minimum spanning tree using Prim's algorithm. Okay. Now see, uh, let us uh, directly uh, jump to the example. So determine the minimum spanning tree for the given graph using Prim's algorithm. Okay. So first of all, what is a spanning tree? And then what is a minimum spanning tree? So what is a spanning tree? And for that, what is a tree? So it is a acyclic graph. So that is a tree. Now what is a spanning tree? So it is a tree in which it covers all the vertices. Okay. In such a manner that all are connected fine. And what is a minimum spanning tree? So it is a spanning tree having the minimum weight. Fine. So uh, we will use uh, this Prim's algorithm to find a minimum sp spanning tree or that is MST. Okay. So this is the example. Okay. And we want to find the minimum spanning tree of this particular example. So let us do that. So see, uh, I'm not talking about the st what are the steps to be followed. So first of all, what we'll do? Okay, so here, first of all, how many vertices are there? So total, you can see that there are six vertices. Fine. So uh, we can start from any one vertex. Okay, uh, to proceed for the uh, this method or the algorithm, uh, we can start from any vertex. Fine. So for simplicity, I will just start from this A. Okay. See, as it is a spanning tree, so it should contain all the vertices, fine. So what we'll do, just take all these vertices, that is A, B, C, D, E, F. Okay, so we've taken all the vertices. So what is the first step? Now we'll start with A. Now from A or with A, we will select a minimum weighted edge or a minimum uh, weighted vertex which is adjacent to A. So first of all, uh, what are the adjacent vertices? So that is F, E, D and B. So what is the minimum weight? So as you can see that we have this 1, 6, 2 and 11. So among all this 4, what is the minimum weight? So as you can see that this uh, 1, it is the minimum weight. So what we'll do, we'll just uh, draw this edge and we'll write this uh, weight 1. Fine. Now the second step. Okay. So we will choose the third vertex in such a manner that uh, it is the minimum. Okay. It is the minimum weight. And as well as it should not contain a cycle as we are finding uh, the minimum spanning tree. So obviously it should not contain or it should not become a cycle. Fine. So the second step is that we will check for, uh, for all these uh, both the vertices. Fine. So we'll check for both the vertices that is F and A. Now we will take the third vertex by using this two vertices. So that is now what is the minimum uh, weighted vertex? Okay. So, uh, or minimum weighted adjacent vertex. So what are the vertices adjacent to F? So that is this E and B. Now we've already taken uh, this A. So E and B. So weight is 3 and 9. And for A, the 6, 2 and 11. So 6 to 11 and 3 and 9. So we'll consider both the vertices fine. So among all these, what is the minimum weight? So that is 2. So as you can see that it is 2. So we'll select this vertex D and draw this A edge, this 2. Fine. So this is the second step. So that is 2 and D. Okay. Now the third step. So what we'll do now, we'll look for this F, A and D. So we'll take uh, that vertex, which is minimum weighted. Fine. From all these three vertices, the adjacent vertices. Fine. So now just consider this F. So what are the uh, vertices that is a uh, that has minimum weight or this edge has minimum weight so that is this 3 okay so this is 3 now this is 9 so just consider 3 and 9 now what are the adjacent edges that is a so one i've already taken 6 and 11 so 6 11 3 9 and for d for d we have 4 5 7 okay so what is this minimum so as you can see that this 3 9 uh, here for f 3 9 for a we have 6 uh, we have 11 and for d we have 4 or 5 okay so what is this minimum so that is this 3 okay so what we'll take we will take this 3 fine so we'll take this 3 okay now next step now what we'll do we have total four vertices so we'll check for all the adjacent edges okay and which has the minimum weight so for a we have this 11 uh, and 6 okay for F, we have this 9, only 9, 9 is left. So then next, for E, we have this 10, we have 6 and 4. 
fine and for d we have 5 we have 7 okay so just uh, just by looking at this you can see that this 4 it is the minimum but see if we take this 4 or if we take this edge ed so if we take this ed so it will become a cycle but what we are looking for we are looking for a tree so it should does uh, it should not contain a cycle fine so this 4 uh, this edge won't be there so what is this uh, next minimum weight so the next minimum weight is as you can see that this is 5 okay so we'll take this d and c so that is 5 fine the next step now again we have total uh, 5 uh, we have total 5 vertices now we'll check for each and every adjacent edges such that it has the minimum weight so for a we have this 11 uh, and 6 fine for f we have this 9 uh, yeah only 9 then we have for e we have 6 then we have this 10 and 4 cannot be there okay and for d we have this 5 uh, already taken and 7 okay so what will be it so and then for c we have this 8 or that means this bc, BC h okay so what is this minimum weight so as you can see that this minimum weight it is 7 so this edge will be there now see i think this will be the minimum spanning tree why see as you can see that this all the uh, vertices are connected and it does not have a cycle and that's it so the minimum weight what will be the minimum weight that means the summation of all these minimum weights okay so 1 3 plus 1 plus 3 plus third step 2 plus 5 plus 7 that is equals to 18 okay so this is how you can find a minimum spanning tree using prims algorithm now uh, one can ask now see uh, if both the weights or you can see that here we have 2 and uh, also we have here 7 so if both the weights are same then what we'll do so in that case we will take any vertex okay so answer will be same so if uh, the weights are same so we can take any vertex and then proceed for the next step okay so it is very easy so it is the minimum spanning tree now you can check for yourself that it is the minimum spanning tree fine and this is how you can uh, find minimum spanning tree using prims algorithm and uh, we have also uh, the second method so that is kruskal's algorithm and that we will see in the next session okay thank you